Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of The Waste Stone. We are back finally in this world. Today we are in the blacksmith's uh, second floor. I filled up this wall so that we had an actual wall on the other side. I think we're going to put a window in it. I'm not terribly sure uh, what we're going to do with this though. But yeah, so I've uh, been messing with this ground floor here, or not ground floor, I guess the second floor. Um, and so this is the part that sticks out over. And so I thought, you know, you know, those, uh, like nettings or like that, I don't know exactly what it's called on a ship, but there's like that, that holy area where you can fall into, or you can like walk over, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, that I thought this was a good emulation of that. Uh, and then, yeah, so we've got, uh, jungle wood floors and then this is the bottom floor just some stairs and slabs on the ceiling thought that was good did some trapdoor work here to make it a little bit more um, interesting and then it also makes life a lot easier doing stairs so you don't actually have to deal with them um, but today make sure everything's fine yeah so let's take a look at this this is what we built uh, last episode was the blacksmith and overall I think you guys liked it um, I actually like the uh, ship style of, um, well, we have ship style roofs on this, but this is directly like a ship because of the back end being an actual like back end of a boat. And I really like this style. I thought it was pretty cool. I don't know exactly what to do um, on this portion. I'm thinking of doing a window of some sort um, or do, and continuing this style of uh, stonework all the way up but I'm not really sure maybe we'll go and do that sort of style I just don't really know uh, maybe we'll switch it out for terracotta not really sure um, but we're not going to do that today in this episode of the waystone we are going to be doing some path work and laying out the pathway um, for this main area and getting a path design done um, and, uh, yeah, because, um, I still need to gather quite a few materials. Um, as you can see, I haven't chopped any of these trees down, but I have been gathering some oak. Do we have, yeah, so I have some oak and I think there might be more over here. I'm not sure if there's any more in here. Um, let's see. Birch. Oh, yeah, so I put some in here, and then I found these. Oh, no, I've had these for a while. I, I don't need them. Um, and, yeah, so I need to gather more oak for this giant build. Um, but overall, I think it's good. I think this will be the next building project that we tackle. Um, and that's why I – part of the reason why I needed to break from the waystone was because of work. And then the other part, let's just grab a few of these so we can go on over and check our mailbox. I want to see if we need anything um, from over there. Um, but part of the reason was because I need to just gather a lot of resources. Got our wings. Yes, we do. And uh, yeah, so um, in the next couple episodes, we'll be tackling, I think, the giant build. And we have some fun projects ahead um one of which is i have no idea if i'm spoiling anything so i'm sorry i haven't been on in a while i know the sand wall means don't do it also this little bridge is cool uh let's go over here uh let's check our store actually while we're here might as well check and see if anybody's bought anything um but the next one of the next projects we're going to be doing has to do with this and finishing it up and uh making it oh, the door's open uh, okay, so nobody has bought any of that. Nobody's bought any paper. All right, that's okay. What in the world? I saw, like, some sort of, like, texture. But, yeah, we're going to be doing some work on the cafe area. I have an idea for this, and I think it's going to be really, really fun, and it involves uh, another member of the Waystone. That was terrifying. Um, it involves another member of the Waystone. Also, if you haven't seen this, Canelia built this. It is a llama fountain, um, <laughs> and it's pretty fantastic. If you go down here, um, okay, that's the ride up. If you go down here, ouch, it is a community farm area, and it's super cool. Like, this is awesome. If you guys haven't seen Canelia, uh, if you don't watch Canelia, I would definitely 
recommend it um, if you like this type of building. Um, she's really great at this. Uh, she's doing a steampunk type of world. And then she's got this little wall that we can have um, some like just fun signs and stuff. We got some signs in this chest to add to the wall. And Larry is her llama. And then Ender Trina. Interesting. You should name that so it pops up. Um, but yeah, that's it. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's a fun little build. Um, but what were we doing? Oh, we were checking to see if we had any um, stuffs, any uh, mailbox thingies. And uh, yeah, I think this will be. Oh, I thought <laughs> for some reason I thought that was a zombie in like leather armor. I doubt that we have anything. There hasn't really been any. any... Oh, yeah, we have llama stick here <laughs> because why not? Uh, yeah, no pickle brew. Nothing. That's okay. Uh, and I, I was the one that changed like most all of these, except for Leak Leak, uh, Pickle Brew. I didn't change Waffle Shake. I changed, but I don't know if I changed it to Waffle Shake. Capitan. I did change Frimp to Shrimp. Uh, Dov or Dave or Doi Doi Dub the Fuzor Dov. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So let me get up whatever materials I need. Oh, I need some granite for our pathway. Um, and then we can begin work on that and uh, talk, talk about some things that are happening on the channel that I think should be a, addressed a little bit in a Minecraft video. Um, so yeah, I will gather up materials and then be back with you. All right, so I think I have everything all um, prepared for what we're doing. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is just... Well, let's get rid of this for a sec. So what I'm thinking of doing is just going through and turning all this grass into path blocks and then going back through and changing it up. And so I think we're going to go right just along here and then we will, you know, make it actually nicer later on. But I don't know how wide we want to make this. I think this will be good if it's like consistently like three to four just like occasional little spurts yeah like that something like that like that wide and uh what we do need to do is add some dirt underneath there um but there's actually gonna be slabs here so it's not gonna really matter that that much uh where is the bed the bed the bed the bed i actually put the bed inside because it was starting to get dangerous. When there's multiple people on, the server doesn't like to sleep, let us sleep for like, like instantly it takes a little bit. And so monsters actually spawn. And I've had a few circumstances where my bed has <clears throat> sacrificed itself for the greater good. Um, but yeah, so I wanted, while we're doing this, um, I wanted to speak to you a bit about uh, the new series that we are having on this channel um and that is the wizard of legend series that i put out on friday and this video is coming out on monday and so i wanted to talk about it because i want to get your opinion on it i know uh, it's not a minecraft thing but i don't want this channel to be just minecraft i don't think it needs to be just minecraft and so i wanted to gauge what you guys thought of it if you've ever played that game too i'd love to hear what your thoughts are on it i think it's a really fun game uh, let's get rid of this and this um because it's it's a really really fun game if you haven't tried it out i would definitely give it a whirl um but the reason why we're doing that is because i wanted to make a different series that we could have consistently going on um on this channel uh, for the hectic weeks like what I've been dealing with for the past oh I don't know couple oh this is gonna be annoying um, what I've been dealing with with work uh, in the past uh, few days because of that ADX test I had or what it, what I what did I call it for you guys admin test um, it's like it's called like an ADX test um, because I, I, I don't like being inconsistent. Um, and so I want to have something that is easy to record and consistent and also gives me a little variety um, 
in what I play. And so that's why that is a thing currently. Um, and I, I've had a really good time. It's definitely nice to be able to record something like that because I like the first five episodes, five, six, six or seven episodes I have recorded like they're done. Um, and that's really, really nice uh, just because it is uh, very tedious sometimes to be able to get Minecraft episodes out uh, because the projects I want to do in each episode are a little bigger than what life allows. <laughs> um, and so I think that it's a good change of pace because I will be bringing more than just Minecraft um, to this channel. Um, but it's also a nice uh, change of pace for me um, as a gamer, quote unquote. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this because this is obnoxious and obstructs the view. Um, but I wanted to gauge your guys' uh, thoughts on that. If there are any other games you would like um, me to try out that are outside of Minecraft, I'd love to hear your opinions. Um, and yeah, so the the what you should pr what I'm gonna say in terms of expectations uh, for this new series is that I'm expecting to be releasing Monday and Fridays for Minecraft stuff, and then I'm expecting to release um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for the easy to record stuff. So. In essence, it's not changing anything. It's just giving me more motivation to record is like the big thing, if that makes sense. Um, let's, we'll have some houses this way. So we will make this go out over here. I don't know what, what should we put over here? Just some houses. I think this would be like a little, a nice little house area, a little back area for smaller houses, maybe. Potentially. Maybe some servant areas. Could be good. Uh, let's make it three, and then that, that, and then, yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. So now we're getting the feel of what this is going to look like. And right now it just looks like a bunch of path blocks. Um, but I think what we're going to do now is I've got some stuff in my inventory. Um, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to take some granite, we're going to take some of this, and not you, and we're going to go through, and we're going to add in, oh, we need um, jungle slabs, yes, we need jungle slabs for the floor, uh, for this area, like to be able to walk up and down this. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to just go through and break this up with some texture stuff going on. And I think it's going to be really nice because granite, if you didn't know, granite is underused. And I want to try and bring granite to light because you can use granite for so much. Um, it's really not a bad texture. Uh, it gets a bad rap. And uh, I think it's uh, pretty actually great for things like this. Um, so we're just going to make a road similar to what we did in the cave. Um, but it is a little bit a little different um, because, okay, yeah, because we're going to mix it in with something that I thought was actually really, really nice is these. Let's make a couple of these because look at this. So jungle stripped jungle logs have a pink hue that goes so well with granite. And I am like really just I just love what it looks like. I think it looks so good. So we'll go through and we'll place a couple of these uh, in and then we can uh let's get a regular jungle i don't feel like getting rid of some of that and then yeah so it's it, it's really an underutilized 
uh, block in my opinion. I really love what it looks like and it goes so well now with this jungle wood that it, well, I guess that's going to be a, <laughs> a thing. Um, I think it goes so well with this jungle wood that it's like, it should be used way more often. Uh, we want to go right there, right? Or is that the same way? No, that's different. Um, and yeah, I th so we're going to be doing this for the pathway. And then let's do one more here and here. So we'll go here and there. And then we'll go through and we will mix it up. And I think, yes, my dog wants out. So once we get this all stripped, I will go and let him out. Okay, so he is out. And uh, he will probably bark here in like two seconds because he never wants to stay out longer than that. Always is a slight bit of a nuisance <laughs> when it comes to uh, my sanity, but it's fine. I love him. He is a good little puppy. Or he's not a puppy anymore. He's like seven years old, but you know what I mean. Oop. Good thing that's uh, well, sad. Uh, that can go there, and then we will do one more right here. And good. Okay, now let's do this granite. And then I think this will be the pathway. Um, we'll definitely have to work it out a little bit more um, because it's going to be a little inconsistent um, when it comes to if it looks like it should have another like foundational block. Um, but I think overall it's going to look good. I haven't actually taken a look at it in a while, so we'll change that. And then let's do right here, here, right here. Um, right there, why not? And just trying to make it a little more road looking feeling, uh, if that makes any sense at all. Because um, we should add some coarse dirt. I think that would be good too. I think coarse dirt would help uh, make it a little bit more. Uh, mm, we'll let you be grass. Okay, let's go sleep. I swear, time passes so fast in this game. Like, it, you, it doesn't take hardly any time. Um, let's grab some rockets, and then we can see how it looks. That is one nice thing about that little area. <laughs> is, oh, let's add these two. So, you, 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 you. There, right there. Bam, bam, wham. Uh, and bam. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's decent. Decent, decent, decent. And there, and there. There. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Let's grab some rockets. And gosh, I really, you know how much I hate that. You know how much I hate that screen bouncy weirdness. Uh, let's grab rockets in here. Just grab a couple. Don't need too many. No one else is on the server, so I should be able to take off pretty okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that looks pretty decent. Going all the way down will be nice. We'll be able to landscape and... Oh, gosh. I... did. You, do you ever play a game and, like, you actually physically duck? I just physically ducked, thinking I was going to, like, hit my head or something. That is silly. Yeah, I think this is looking okay. It's not like amazing. I think let me experiment a bit with this and I'll be back with you in just a sec to hopefully have a more finished product. So I've done uh, quite a bit of changes to the path design as you can probably tell 
Um, yeah, so this goes against everything I just said about granite and everything. Um, it's not that it's a bad block or anything like that. It's more just that the surrounding area was causing a lot of issues letting the with the granite actually standing out. Um, and, like, the path was very brown, and so the overall effect of the path was pretty muted um in the sense that you, you couldn't really like tell um you couldn't tell like the the path blended in with everything you you couldn't tell where the path was you can tell where the path was supposed to be and so you you lost the path um, because of all the brown that was around it and so this is a solution that i've come to uh, these blocks and I think they look just as good um, it's not the total color palette that I was wanting to go for but I think it works better for this area um, and something also that I, I I always fall into when I am making these types of paths is that I always forget how important depth is when it comes to making a path. Um, and so by that, I mean having just like the occasional, like okay, these occasional random, not your normal, like not even normal to the path blocks, like occasional random bricks that are actually not supposed to like technically be a part of the palette, but they are. Um, so just like random little things like that help add a little bit of um variation to things it gives things a little bit more life uh, and then also changing up these so they're not all just uh what's it called wood um we can change them up so that they are i want that there 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 and there and then we can change this one and this one up so that they are stone and then this can be like that. So it adds more depth, more total feel for this. Um, and then finally, the last, if you can take one lesson away from this and my mistakes, is you gotta have plant life to help differentiate <laughs> where in the world your stuff is. Now, one thing I am finding is that I'm, I like this texture pack, but I really am not enjoying how it, it's almost too clean for this build. It's almost cause like, if you look at this without this on and we just look at it with normal textures on, everything, it looks the same. It's just grungier. Like it's much grungier feeling. Everything still goes fine. And it works, I think, better. Like this path works better. And so I'm debating on going back to just this, like, the new textures. We'll use the new textures. We won't use these. These actually look weird to me now. Let's go to my texture pack. Uh, just because here we go because I don't know it, it like this texture pack is starting to feel okay what in the world did I not actually I didn't click done did I done and okay I don't know what's going on but if you can take one lesson away is you got to have depth. You got to have this depth that helps the world come alive. So like the, even the, just the simple, pl this simple plant life along the road is so much, makes it so much nicer. Now this is a, a lot, quite a bit, actually way too much. <laughs> but what you can do is you can add little things to make it feel a little bit nicer of a place and we can do this you can make it feel like a nice 
area to be in. Now the plant, these bushes aren't going to feel too great because this is a, um, what is it called? A mountain biome? Is it a mountain? Yeah. A mountain biome. And so I, the color is not too great, but it does it, like this is this just improves it this just makes life so much nicer because everything goes a little bit better with a little bit of green um and so yeah if you can take one lesson away from my mistakes is add plant life if if things are going south and one don't necessarily stick to a path design you think is good because sometimes it's not good and it, you you just have to change it up um but also um let's add some grass there but like this looks so much nicer i think personally i think this is much much nicer feeling um than what we had before it's much more overgrown not as taken care of and i would imagine even though this is a nice part of town they are pirates we are still building for pirates in a sense um and so i don't think that these areas are going to be like super well kept uh we are going to change these flowers out like there's way too many well there's not a ton of flowers but there's still too many flowers i think um but yeah i think that's going to do it for this episode um, I know it's not like the most exciting, but I this is quite a bit of work, I think. Let's actually take to the skies because I want to show just how much nicer this looks because it is actually quite a difference. Yeah, yeah, that looks just, it looks so much nicer. It's so much more path feeling and around we go and up and over yeah that's so much nicer look at this much better so yeah i think we're going wow um i think we are going to go without the um texture pack i think we're going without the texture pack for a while just to get a feel for it see if we like it um but we are going to go with the 1.13 new textures in the wood. Do not know why that's not loading currently, but yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry everything with how everything's been going in real life that videos have been stalled. Uh, hopefully everything is back to normal. Got the test out of, way, out of the way. I passed the test, so we don't have to deal with it anymore. And hopefully with this new uh, game schedule, I can get back into the flow of things and hopefully it will all just be better. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, leave a like in real life. And uh, if you're looking forward to this series, again, feel free to subscribe to join the little family we've got going here. And I will see you guys in the next episode.